Welcome back to the adventures of Heather Fab in Okinawa, Japan. So just real quickly, I wanted to give you an kind of an update. So the last video I think I did was of me passing my driving test. That was in December. It's now January, the ending of January. What date is today? 28th or something, 27th, 28th, I don't remember, but thereabouts. And so clearly you can see I am in a vehicle. <laughs> yes, I actually got my own car and I found this very ironic because things are usually a little bit more difficult in Japan. I'll tell you a little more of those, share some more of those experiences as I go along. But it was so easy to get my own car, to buy my own car. So it's actually a second hand car. It's not a brand new car, but um, I just needed something to move around. And this is pretty common here in Japan for persons like on an island like Okinawa where a car is a necessity. I really thought I could have lived without a car and I did it for about two years. But living on an island where the transportation system is not as good as as I would like it to be, I have come to the um, difficult, painful decision that I do need a car. <laughs> and since I want to be traveling a little bit more around the island, um, I figure it, it would be good to get a car and then I just got my driver's license what's the point of getting a driver's license if you you're not driving so I did get a car and it was really easy like I said to get to get the car pretty much what I did I did some searches online a few friends of mine told me about websites that I could check um, for different dealers I went online and I checked the one I actually got the car from was GooNet, G-O-O -O dot net, N-E-T. And they have a wide range of vehicles, different prices, um, different accessories, depending on what you're looking for. So you go on, they will tell you, they will identify for you the different dealers and where they are. You can choose from those that are in your location or one that's closest maybe to your job or something. Just the one that you, in the area that you want. I chose one that's actually across the street from my apartment. So it's pretty close, really accessible. Just in case I have a need, I can just stop by. The only drawback with this dealer is that he doesn't speak English and I speak very little Japanese. As a matter of fact, I'm just learning. <laughs> so conversation, uh, um, conversation was a challenge. But of course, there's always all kinds of translators. So I did use Google Translate and I have Japanese friends. So I'll just ask, maybe call them and ask them to be the translator for us. So that was the, the only hiccup. But I pretty much saw the car online. I decided, okay, this is the car I want. I stopped by the dealer, looked at the car. I told him, okay, I want this car. I made a deposit, um, like, I don't I don't remember exactly when it was but it was like one week after making the deposit that I actually got the car so I made the deposit um, he went and did the paperwork that's a part of the package that they offer you when you want to purchase a car um, I don't know if you can do it on your own but seeing that my Japanese is not not even basic i wouldn't even attempt to do that so i just made the payment he did the paperwork everything i came back one week's time and i made the final payment and i got my car and that was it easy as cheesy <laughs> yes i was really happy about that because things here just seem to be a little bit more difficult um, not as straightforward as what I had become accustomed to. So I was really happy for that. I will share um, uh, in another video about some other experiences I've had here. So just wanted to share that with you guys quickly. All right. So thanks for watching. I'll see you again in my next video. Bye bye.